It's our final day here in Nashville, Tennessee, and before we go, we want to stalk the stars. We're going to jump on a bus tour to find out where the stars live. Do I have any first-timers to Nashville? Yes. Oh, wow. I love it. Well, welcome. And if it's not your first time, we're glad you liked it enough to come back and visit again. This property coming up on the left was purchased about five years ago by a famous Hollywood actress that grew up right here in Nashville. And there was an old house here. She said she was going to renovate. For whatever reason, she never did. And last year, she sold the property to a retired NFL player, Jerry Allen. And Jerry played for the Minnesota Vikings. Ronnie bought this property back in the early 1980s, so he's owned it for many years. And he bought it from a famous country comedian. Any of y'all remember Ray Stevens? The street. Well, this was the home of Ray Stevens, but Ray had a neighbor he didn't get along with. And that's the reason he sold the house to Ronnie Millsap. Their church's house back there. And we're coming up to the main gate, and you'll notice that the gate is under repair. We had a winter storm move through Nashville, probably about a month and a half, two months ago now. And uh, we got more than seven inches of snow. Eric's tour bus slid down the driveway there trying to get out and broke the gate. Taylor Swift's houses. to do an intro today but we couldn't do that because uh, Kelly had us running late for the uh, tour bus here in Nashville to go see the stars but it was tough because first I was sitting on the wrong side of the bus evidently everything was on the right side I was on the left side it's our last day so we got to go do something good for lunch we're back on uh, music row for the honky-tonks um, you want to go to Garth Brooks restaurant for lunch sure yeah that's what you want. Well, what would you like to do? I'm up for anything, I guess. Yeah. Going to the G-Man. I got friends in those places.
we're gonna eat in Garth Brooks here. It's a very small menu. I will link it to the uh, description of this video if you'd like to check it out. This place is packed, and I have been told that the food here is really good, so we are looking forward to it. Okay, the food is here, and it is looking yummy. I ordered the hot dog, and it's baked into a pretzel, and there's cheese in there, and I've got steak fries. Actually, there's a little extra cheese on the side. I was told it was uh, baked in there. We'll find out. Kelly went with the regular fries and a cheeseburger. Well, I'm assuming there's meat in there. We, we, we do see the lettuce and the tomato. So they call these like a smash burger. It's kind of a new trend where they like smash them down really crispy and flat. It's going to be pretty thin because it's... There we go. Pretty good. You like it? Yeah. You need taste or anything like that? Not really. This tastes like a cheeseburger, but it's good. Alright, so pretzel. It's good. This is it's a good hot dog. It tastes like a hot dog that you would get like at a ballpark stadium. So that's what it reminds me of. It's got a very good taste to it. They say it's an all beef hot dog. Got your uh, pretzel in there. There is no cheese baked in there, so I misunderstood that, but we do have the cheese right here. And then, they said they sprinkled some fairy dust on the fries. I think it's Trixie dust or something like that. But. And what you say with tomato, sugar, garlic. what? Garlic. garlic. All right, so let's see here. You can see some of it right here. All right there. It gives it a real sweet taste. It is very salty though, the fries, yeah. A lot of salt in there. This actually is delicious. I really like this. It's, it is smaller than I thought it would be though. So just about almost 16 bucks for this. It's good, so I could definitely taste the uh, the seasoning or the sauce that they use in there. I tasted a little something. Okay, there's, I don't want to keep touching it. It, it, it looks like, yeah, there is some, some sauce in there. So I could definitely taste that. It's a, it's a very good burger. You can kind of taste a little char, which is good, in my opinion, for a burger. You can kind of taste the charred meat a little bit. I think it's pretty good. All in all, I'm really happy with the food here. It's, it is pricey, so if you are coming to Nashville and you're going to be doing Music Row, bring extra money. Okay, we are still in Garth Brooks, pardon the noise, it is a party in here. So we went with their chocolate chip, they call it ooey gooey chocolate chip cookies. Nice and warm, they smell really good. Now they do have what they call Garth and Trisha Yearwood's wedding cake that you can have. And you said it was what, lemon, right? So it's a lemony cake. And I'm just not the biggest fan of lemon. So we did something that I just feel can't be beat. We'll let Kelly take a taste to see what she thinks with their ooey gooey chocolate chip cookie. The, one of the neat things here at the uh, Friends in Low Places Honky Tonk Bar and Restaurant in Nashville is some of the recipes on some of the food is from Trisha Yearwood because she's got a uh, a food show now on TV. And some of the uh, food here that they have includes her recipes. So Kelly is... Really good. You'll like it. That's good. Really good. $10 for this, but it's good. Look at the size of those chocolate chips in there. Those things are huge. And you can definitely taste like the milk chocolate of the cookie. It's a great cookie dough, too. Nice and sweet. I love a sweet cookie dough. So, that's really good. Okay, we're gonna eat this, you can't have any. Goodbye. It's so confusing. What are we listening to? <laughs> them, them, them. Music everywhere. So on the, uh, the bus this morning, he was saying that Music Row, the bands typically start around 10 a.m. Yep. Go to 2 a.m. Yeah. 
It's a long day if you're going to be uh, partying all day. Did you like the food here at Garth Brooks? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Yeah. I love that chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Hot dog I thought was good. Very unique, kind of baked into the uh, the pretzel. And I like the burger. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. The the, the fries had the seasoning. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, seasoning on the fries, it was a little too much for me. I, yeah, a little for salty. my taste, yeah, maybe it's sprinkled a little less. So as you can hear in the background, there's just noise everywhere. Lots and lots and lots of people having a great time here. It's our final day here. Yeah, what I mean by final day is we're actually leaving and you have to come with us. But before we do that, I've been kind of holding off on one little thing. So if you're a country music fan, follow us. This is an absolute bummer. You're probably familiar with the uh, sidewalk with the stars in Hollywood, with all the movie stars. Well, they've got a very similar thing here in Nashville with all of the country music stars. And they've got some sort of uh, private event going on here where we are not allowed in. So I'll show you what I can kind of see a little bit, but they're scattered throughout this little park here. What a bummer. So we've got Clint Black over here, Ray Stevens, Lady Annabellum. Is that Chet Atkins over there? Patsy Cline, let's see if I can, there's Patsy Cline way over there. Eric Church is right here. Oh, this is a bummer that we can't get in here. There's some uh, cowboy boots. If you are coming and you'd like to see this, it's right across the street from the Country Music Hall of Fame and the museum, and the Hilton. You may recognize her. She goes by the name Taylor Swift. And uh, yep, on the other side of the Hilton, and of course the uh, Bat Building to the uh, right there, I'm sure AT&T loves that, uh, that nickname it has. Inherited. That was years ago it's gotten that name. Looks like this is ready for future stars, future country stars. And it is uh, scattered all over throughout this park here. Nashville was a lot of fun, and we had a great time checking out restaurants, visiting Music Row, checking out the state capitol, connecting with some friends, which are also YouTubers. Now it's time for us to head north, back to Yankee Land. I would love to hear your thoughts on our visit to Nashville. Please comment below. And if you haven't seen the first two videos from Nashville, you'll probably want to check those out. You'll see me on the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, don't go anywhere yet. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It'll help others on YouTube find it just like you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for travel, attractions, Wisconsin Dells, and reviews. In the meantime, you can binge watch by clicking on one of these videos. Happy watching. For behind the scenes, follow Maverick Hayes on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Subscribe to the fun.